Hello and welcome to this tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel 2016 on the Apple Mac. In this tutorial we'll continue to look at charts. You can see the column chart from the previous tutorial and now I'd like to create a pie chart. I want to use a pie chart to see how my total revenue is shared between the different movies. So the first thing I need to do as previously is select the range of cells that I want to include in the chart. So first of all I'm going to select the range of cells that includes the titles and that includes the column heading by the way it's important to select that. I'm then going to hold the command key again so I can skip the next two columns and select the revenue figures from D3 down to D10. So again include the column label there, the column heading. Once I've selected the data range for the chart you go to the insert tab and this time come across to the chart section and it's the pie chart I'm interested in so find the pie chart icon there click on the drop down options and I'm going to choose the very first one there it's a 2D pie chart so click on that and the pie chart is created on the spreadsheet now I don't want to have the pie chart and the column chart on the same worksheet so I'm going to move this pie chart to a separate worksheet and you'll remember that when a chart is on your spreadsheet and you've highlighted it by clicking on it you'll get two new tabs and they are chart design and format so make sure you have chart design selected come over to the right side and you'll find a button there that says move chart if I click on that button we get a dialog box appear and I have the option to move the chart to a new worksheet or to move it to an existing worksheet the existing worksheet option is already selected but I'm going to select new sheet and change the name to revenue chart and then all I need to do is click OK and here's the chart on the new worksheet and if you look down at the bottom you can see the tabs down there sheet 1, sheet 2. Sheet 1 if I click on that is where the original spreadsheet is and revenue chart if I click on that tab that's where my pie chart is now located. Now if you don't like the existing colors you can change the color palette again make sure you have the chart design tab selected over on the left there you'll see they have the option to change colors if I click on that so you see here you have a limited range of built-in palettes so if I click on for example the third one there you'll see my colors change instantly on the chart and if I click back on to change colors you also have these monochromatic options as well and those are different shades of the same color so if I select this gold or yellow option here you'll see we get different shades of that color I'm going to go back and simply choose the very first color option there of course you have complete control over the colors yourself so you can independently color each part of the chart and that's something we'll look at later on you can also change the appearance of the chart by using the chart styles option again under the chart design tab so if I come into that section there there's a small drop down arrow and that opens up all the options so for example if I would prefer a black background for my chart I can click on that option you'll see there the chart is essentially the same but with a dark background and the text is in white however for now I'm going to keep with the original format and simply click the undo button to reverse that change now you'll also remember from the previous tutorial that each part of the chart can be independently selected and formatted. For example, if I move the mouse pointer just into the chart area, you'll see the label appears the same on the chart area. A bit further in towards the pie chart itself, we get the plot area. You can also select the slices or an individual slice. But for now, I'm actually going to click on the legend box. If I just point and click there, you'll see that becomes selected. I'm going to then right click and choose format legend and we have this formatting sidebar or format pane appear and at the moment this is set to format legend as you can see so we have legend options and text options I'm going to stay in legend options check that the third option is selected legend options and down at the bottom you can see I can move the location of that legend and I'm going to click on the right side option I also want to change the font size of the legend box entries and so I'm going to right click and choose the font option and if I just move that over to the left so we can see the legend as well you can see here I can set the font size and I'm going to highlight that and change it to 14 leave everything else as it is and simply click OK 
and so we can see there the titles displayed much more clearly. At this stage, I could close down the format sidebar, but I'll leave it open because I'm going to continue applying some formatting to my chart. Next, I want to highlight a particular slice on the chart, and I want to highlight the Wizard of Oz, which, as you can see, is this orange color here, this dark orange. But I want to have that slice located at the lower left of the chart rather than on the right as it currently is, so I need to move it somehow. So I'm going to click on the chart to select it, and you'll notice that the formatting pane has now changed to say Format Data Series. And down at the bottom there, make sure again the third option there, the Series options are selected, and we have Angle of First Slice and Pi Explosion. The explosion basically is when the pi is separated, so you may see pie charts where a piece is separated or several pieces, that basically is pi explosion. And we'll come back to look at that in a moment. But first of all, let's move that slice around the chart. Now I can actually move the slider by clicking and dragging. And as I do that, if I release the mouse button, you'll see the effect on the chart as I drag to the right. So it's rotating clockwise. If you wanted to go the other way, then obviously you, you drag to the left and the pie chart rotates counterclockwise. You could also type in a value if you know the exact angle of rotation. For example, I could select the value there, type in maybe 50 degrees, press the Enter key, and you'll see the slice is rotated. Not quite far enough for me, so let's change that to perhaps 90 and see how that gets us. We're getting closer. I'm actually going to use a slider just to move it a little bit further. Too far, come back again, and so on. You get the idea. So it's roughly 130 degrees of rotation, but I'm happy with the location there. Next, I want to highlight this slice by moving it away from the main chart. So I'm going to explode this particular slice. So all I need to do here is click on it first of all, and that slice is now selected, and then click and drag. And you can see there it simply moves away from the main chart. And if we come back to look at the formatting sidebar, you'll see it now says Format Data Point. And in the options, we now have point explosion rather than chart explosion. So it's only going to apply to this particular point. And again, you can use the, for example, the up and down arrows on the value box there to move the slice in and out, as you can see. Or you can set a particular level of explosion. That might be useful if you want to explode several parts of the pie and have a consistent gap for each slice. I'm going to leave it at 15% for now. I'm happy with that position. I want to change the color of the slice as well, so I'm going to go to the Fill options. That's the first option under Format Data Point, Fill and Line. I'm going to set a solid fill, and you notice there are colors already been applied, but I'm going to change that. So I'll click on the drop down arrow where the paint bucket is, and I'm going to choose this dark red color here. So if I click on that, you'll see dark red is applied. Now, although you can see that some slices are bigger than others, unless you move the mouse pointer over the slice, it's not clear what the actual value is. So I want to have the labels to show what each slice represents in terms of revenue. To do that, I need to reselect the whole chart. So I'm going to click away first of all, click back on, and now the whole chart is selected. If I now right click, I can choose Add Data Labels. And one odd thing, when I do that, you'll notice there that the chart actually reduces in size. If I click the Undo button, you'll see what I mean. So there's the chart as it was. If I right click, Add Data Labels, watch the chart size change, and it shrinks. I didn't ask it to shrink, it did that, so that's just part of the way that Excel operates when you add data labels to a pie chart. I can look at resizing the chart later on, but for now I'm going to do a little bit of formatting with my data labels. So first of all, I will click on those. I'm going to right click and select Font again, so we get the Font Change dialog. I'm going to increase the size to 14, and I'm going to change the font color to white. And perhaps I'll also change the font style from regular to bold. So with those three things changed, click OK. And you'll see the new formatting applied. You'll see my format pane now says Format Data Labels. And if I come to the Label Options, and if I click on the Label Options arrow to open up the options, you can see value is selected and also leader lines. I'll show you leader lines in a moment. And you can see here I can do things like add the category name, so I can add the movie title. So if I click again, that goes away. And I can also add the percentage as well, so I get the value and the percentage of the revenue. So I might actually prefer that. Now I mentioned the leader lines, and I'll just explain what they do. So if I come back to the chart, 
and click on any one of the existing labels there. And if I drag that label away from the chart, although because it's white text, the label disappears, you can clearly see the leader line, which shows you what that label refers to. However, for now, let's move it back into the chart and the leader line disappears. So you might find that useful depending on how you're going to label your charts. Now, as it happens, I've changed my mind about having the legend box. I'm just going to click on that, press delete on the keyboard, and the chart is also relocated to a central position. Now, because I've deleted the legend box, I can now no longer see my film titles. So what I've got to do is update those labels. So again, if I click on the labels there, come back to the options, make sure I've got the options selected, bring label options into view, and I can now click on category name. And even though I've got best fit selected for label position, you can clearly see some of those labels aren't really working out too well. But I won't worry about that just yet. I'm going to manually adjust those later. And because I've got a bit more room now, I'm going to actually make the chart a little bit bigger again. So if I make sure I've got the plot area showing there, when I put the mouse over, I can click and you'll see the square box selecting the chart. I can then click and drag from the top right and the bottom just to make the whole chart a little bit bigger. Once I've done that, I can then come back and select the labels and click on each one individually and just relocate to whichever position I like. So even though best fit is selected, I can still manually move them to somewhere that I prefer. So again, I'll just click away now and you can see the result of that. Next, I'll format the chart title. So if I click on that revenue label there, I can drag it over to the right side and I'm actually going to edit that title slightly. So if I click at the beginning of the R, I can type in the business name, Fred's Movie Classics, and then press the Enter key to create a new line. And then I can highlight all that text. I can right click, click on font. Again, perhaps increase the size, maybe make it 20 point size. Perhaps again, make it bold. Leave the font color for now and other options and click OK. So we have a larger title. I might set a background color. So under fill, and you notice by the way, format chart title is now the label for the formatting sidebar. I can choose a background color here. So let's just say perhaps a light blue. Again, I can just maybe move that chart title slightly, just move it in, click away, and there's my chart title. And by clicking away, I've now set format chart area in the sidebar. So maybe I'll just apply a bit of formatting to the background of the chart. If I this time click on gradient fill, let's have a look at the preset gradients and I'll choose something with maybe this gold or light yellow. And finally close down the format pane, click away and there is my completed pie chart. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you'll be able to create pie charts for the spreadsheets that you're working on. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.